Hello guys, Brickwood here, and today I'm diving into the question of Will I got Monkey Kid kill Ninjago? Stay tuned to find out more. So guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a great day. If you do want to enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, as well as like the video. But let's get into it. So LEGO Monkey Kid is the newest LEGO theme to come out of the LEGO group. And this is a theme that is mainly targeted at the Asian market, specifically China, where LEGO is a premium product. But it is also available worldwide in LEGO shops and LEGO stores. So it's really exciting for also us to be able to get this product all around the world. And obviously it's proved really popular from when it first came out. But there is a question of will it kill Ninjago and I know Ninjago is an absolutely huge show which has been going on for nearly 10 years now and there's such a big community and before we get into this video in depth I just want to say I love both themes, I collect sets from both themes as well. So I love both themes and I don't really want Ninjago to end but I'm just going to look at some of the reasons why it might and might not happen so let's get into it. So for reasons why LEGO Monkey Kid will not kill Ninjago, I got in touch with someone from the LEGO Ninjago community called The Stud, whose Instagram will be linked down below. And the first point he, which he made to me was that Ninjago has moved away from the Asian aesthetic this year, so that way it sets and Monkey Kid don't clash with each other. So for example, Ninjago did a gaming wave for the January wave and Dungeons and Dragon waves for the upcoming stuff for the summer. So the only sets that look similar this year are the two mechs. So this is an interesting point, so obviously maybe LEGO knew that Monkey Kid could clash with Ninjago and did have the possibility to kill it so decided that they're going to move away from Ninjago just for now maybe maybe they'll come back to the Asian aesthetic in the future but your classic Ninjago isn't really linked to, in any way really to what we're seeing from Ninjago uh, nearly 10 years on so maybe that's why they wanted to make that move either to freshen it up with Ninjago or just to keep the monkey kid and Ninjago separated enough so people didn't mix them up or Lego themselves didn't want to kill Lego Ninjago. So another point which the stud made was that even if they do still appear similar on the surface, there have been themes, countless themes in the past, with similar concepts that have coexisted in the past, like Marvel and DC or City and Creator to an extent. And I agree with that too, I think both themes can easily do well on the shelf together. We've seen that a lot of times with other themes, so I think if LEGO can manage to pull this off so they can have Ninjago on the shelves and also Monkey Kid, that'd be great. Then another point which kind of links to this is Lego Monkey Kid at the moment is a Lego Store exclusive theme, so only the Ninjago sales that will really be stealing technically are those made at Lego stores or shop at home. But I still think that Ninjago can sell really well at Lego stores with Monkey Kid, and obviously if Monkey Kid sells super well at the Lego shop, they will probably branch out to more shops like Target, Walmart. So it's not just an exclusive set, but time will tell. But I think personally these sets can coexist on the shelf together, and one theme doesn't have to kill each other. And another point that the stud also brought up is the Lego Ninjago movie only came out three years ago and it brought in tons of new fans to the Lego community and most specifically the Lego Ninjago community. So they're not going to end Ninjago so quickly after they brought all the new fan base in. And the last thing is that Ninjago is an evergreen theme by Lego. But obviously an evergreen theme is going to mean that it's going to last for a long time but not necessarily forever. Obviously Lego City could end one day, I doubt it. But Ninjago is kind of the theme where if they run out of ideas at some point then they are going to have to end it. Whether that's in 5 years, 10 years or even next year if Monkey Kid sells amazing. But we just don't know. But now I'm going to look at why I think Monkey Kid could kill Ninjago. So let's have a look. So LEGO Ninjago itself as a theme has been around for almost 10 years now and in the recent years LEGO Ninjago Legacy has obviously become a theme which has been coming out every year since 2019. So this has led to a lot of people in the LEGO community suspecting that LEGO Ninjago is at the end of its life because the designers are struggling to think of new concepts and new ideas to make LEGO Ninjago keep going and be exciting. And as I said earlier in the video of why Lego Ninjago is different to Monkey Kid, that could also be a downfall to the theme, where they're also moving to the gaming thing and the Dungeons and Dragons game, obviously taken away from what Ninjago originally is. So I feel like for people who wanted some more original Ninjago, obviously now you can buy Monkey Kid sets, which I say is the closest thing to Lego Ninjago. So I feel like because Lego Ninjago is running out of ideas, maybe Lego is trying to subtly kill Ninjago by putting this theme out and not saying it outright we're going to kill Ninjago with this theme but putting loads of effort into these sets obviously these are like Ninjago movie standard sets for the monkey kid hoping that these will sell amazingly well and manage to kill off Ninjago which I know a lot of Ninjago fans will be sad to hear and I will too obviously that isn't confirmed but I just feel like that Ninjago is running out of set ideas and I know this is shared with a lot of people and the sales have been doing really well I know because new audiences do like to buy the legacy sets 
but it is quite interesting that Lego themselves could be trying to kill. So I wasn't really sure how widely the view was expressed that Lego Monkey Kid could kill Lego and Drago. So on my community tab here on YouTube, I put a little poll up saying, do you think Monkey Kid kill Ninjago with four answers? So yes, no, maybe if it wasn't a store exclusive and they can both sell well at the same time. So 109 of you answered this poll and 16% of you said yes, that they think that Monkey Kid has the potential to kill Ninjago. So that is like quite a lot of the percentage. I wasn't thinking that that many people would just be clear like yeah i think it would then obviously the second highest percentage was no so i know there's a lot of ninjago fans who follow my channel who will probably think i really don't want monkey kid to end and then maybe if it wasn't a store exclusive so people sharing the view which i shared earlier in the view so if it sells really well and became on your shelves of your local walmart your tesco here in the uk it could have the capacity to outsell ninjago very easily and then the one that i probably agree with the most there at the bottom they can both sell well at the same time so 39 percent of you but for that one's around about 42 people so overall that really means that almost half the people who enter this poll and if we take this and apply it to the whole lego community you think that the monkey kid won't kill ninjago and they can both sell well at the same time which is interesting to me it shows that people want to see lego ninjago stick around and people are liking the new ideas which ninjago are putting out because obviously i haven't really bought as much ninjago as i used to be because of the legacy sets were just coming out but i know a lot of people are actually a fan of the legacy sets like the brand new destiny's bounty which is coming out in just a few weeks so people are really excited about that one but obviously people love the minifigures of ninjago and they've been attached to the characters so i think that's what also sells sales of it but i think in terms of the design aspect for monkey kid obviously lego for the if you compare the first wave of ninjago to the first wave of monkey kid obviously the design standard has come a long way with monkey kid and i think that it's obviously the clear winner but on the other hand 10 years have passed lego designers have got a lot better there's a lot more parts in the inventories to choose from to make these sets really cool obviously the minifigures i probably prefer the monkey sets but i know i love collecting the ninja suits every time the ninjago sets come out but it's just interesting to see that people split in the lego community as to monkey could it kill ninjago and obviously you can comment down below do you think and maybe i'll do a follow-up but i'm gonna go through some more reasons now of why i think that monkey had won't kill ninjago also recommended by the stud so in the stud's personal opinion he thinks that a lot of the monkey kid sets are sort of overpriced so they have a really good price per piece ratio but for the volume of stuff you're actually getting in the set he feels like the ninjago gives you a much better value and i wanted to add a bit for that so if you think the cheapest monkey kid set is 25 pound here in the uk and you're getting a bike and kind of a kind of side build which it looks like a ninjago set to me i would have said this is a ninjago set if you didn't have the branding on it but that's aside the point so I think that Ninjago sets, they have a lot of entry point sets, like they're £9 set, why Monkey Kid? To get people interested in the theme, the sets are a higher price than Ninjago, so I feel like if they want to kill it, they needed a lower entry price set, so that makes me think that LEGO don't want to kill this theme at all, because if they wanted to, then there'd be like a £9 Monkey Kid set, which you could buy very easily, but to get £25, like that's quite a, for someone with pocket money, that's like a lot of the money to spend, but obviously if they want to get bigger sets, they add it really quickly, it's £620, for the full wave here in the uk but for then like a full wave of normal ninjago sets around your 300 400 pound so there's like a big difference and contrast between the actual pricing of lego ninjago and lego monkey kid sets which could deter some people off because if you're in the lego store for example where they are store exclusive limited release and you see that a more expensive monkey kid set which your child likes but then an ninjago set which looks to have better player value because it looks to be more going on then obviously there's a parent you're going to buy the more the cheaper one which has looks to have more stuff in and i don't think i think that monkey kid a lot of parts go into single models so you don't really see the actual value you're getting until you've actually built them like pigsy's food truck a lot of people are saying that shouldn't be 70 dollars but when you actually look at it from uh, in depth it actually does look like a value so i think that's kind of where lego may be messed up with monkey kid and the reason why i don't think it has the capacity to kill lego ninjago just because it's not entry point setting to get kids uh, into it obviously the main demographic for lego is kids about 90 percent so obviously that is going to have a big effect on how well monkey kid sells by having no entry point sets i know a lot of airfiles are going to buy the bigger sets who don't tend to buy big ninjago sets which is a big difference but obviously lego kids is the main people who buy lego and lego ninjago so i feel like that kind of rules out the possibility of lego ninjago actually being able to survive so it's going to survive i think overall so now i'll get into my final verdict so after going through all the points in my personal opinion i think that lego monkey at the moment in the way that lego is selling it and marketing it does not have the capacity to kill lego ninjago 
Obviously, LEGO Ninjago is an absolutely huge thing. There's a massive community for it. And I think that LEGO's intentions with Monkey Kid is mainly targeted at the Asian market, specifically the China market, where LEGO is a premium product, and sell it there and make the money there, rather than trying to push it on us and trying to push out other themes which are still making the money. Obviously, LEGO want to make as much money as they want because they are a company, so they want to make both themes work at the same time. So if they can sell Monkey Kid sets worldwide, they're going to do that, not, not sell them and not make money. So I feel like the Ninjago sales will keep up because of kids but then also air falls and some some older children like me will want to buy the monkey kid sets just because they're so awesome and maybe like the smaller sets under 50 pound kids will see maybe at the lego store when they go and visit and the parents will buy it from so i think there is a market for monkey kid sets with kids obviously but mainly in the asia demographic but then we could see them in the future on walmart shelves or tesco here in the uk if they do sell really well but at the moment we just can't really tell what's going to happen and i love both themes and i love the community for both themes but you guys can comment down below what do you think will happen in the future what did you think coming into this video what was your opinion if you like the video subscribe and turn on notification for more videos like this lego news i do all kind of awesome lego content uh, you can watch any of videos on screen now and remember guys keep clicking and bricking i'll see you all later guys bye bye